Hey guys, welcome back to Filmspire. Today we'll talk about the most nauseating moments on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 6. Dr. Pimple Popper pull out a monstrous ear cyst. That's what we in the biz call a good one. Dr. Sandra Lee wrote in the caption in her latest Instagram video. In the video, the California-based dermatologist and TLC host treats a patient with a cyst on his ear, right at the spot where the ear joins to his head. Lee makes a circular incision over the bump, and as she digs around with her tools, she realizes the cyst is very contained. It Looks like I can see this hack wall very easily, so I'll probably be able to take it out, she says, noting that it's almost like a pillar cyst. And then the true pimple popping magic happens. Lee grabs hold of something in there, gives it a tug, and out comes a stunningly long train of cysty goodness. Sack and all. Aw, oh, this is a cute one, Lee says as she pulls it out. Thank you for coming all the way over here for this. Alright, we'll show you that one. She adds when the removal is done with. You're gonna like that one. Number 5. Dr. Pimple Popper pulled out a jellyfish lipoma. Once she wrangled this jiggly bump off her patient's leg. Dr. P held it up and took a good hard look at it. It kind of looks like a jellyfish. Essentially, the bump was wrapped around her entire thigh, but now it's long gone. I'm looking forward to going into the world and showing my children a good role model, Heather says. I don't have anything to hide anymore. After the surgery, she says she's throwing away the compression shorts and shopping for short dresses. Now I feel like I've stepped into the light, she adds. Number 4. Dr. Pimple Popper cleared a horse hoof from a woman's head. Dr. P teased fans with a video of this crazy bump that looks like a horse hoof sticking out of the woman's head. Well, it turned out the patient had many massive bumps all over her head. The doc popped her way through all of them, but the horse hoof still posed a challenge. It might be my biggest obstacle yet, the doctor says. It's wedged in there. I'm really interested in seeing what happens when I knock this horn off. Dr. Pimple Popper has to use some muscle and finally gets the last one out. She also sends it in for testing, and it comes back negative, so her patient is free and clear. Number 3. Dr. Pimple Popper assisted with an avocado finger tumor removal. When Gerald comes in to see the doc, he's at his wit's end. He says if I wake up and this bump is still on my finger, I'm just really going to throw in the towel. He added, if this can't solve it, nothing can. This rare tumor requires a painstaking surgery to remove. This is a 1 in 20 year kind of thing, she says. Dr. P and Dr. James Lilly take care of it once and for all, and their patient is elated. I felt I had a burden lifted, Gerald says. I see the beginning of a new life. The old me is gone and the new me is here. Number 2. Dr. Pimple Popper Romance and Mozzarella Cheese Lipoma If lipomas don't top your list of pops, just wait until you see the ooey gooey mass. Dr. Pimple Popper ends up pulling out piece by piece. You gotta romance it a bit, she says. It's made itself a nice little cozy home and doesn't want to leave. She works on it, massaging and whining and dining the lipoma to get it out. All that's missing from this scene is some candlelight and soft music. Not only does the popping process make it a winner, her patient's transformation is heartwarming. She took the hump and turned it into a smile, Paul says. She made a smile in my heart. It's like I'm reborn again. Number 1. Dr. Pimple Popper sliced off dangling ear keloids. Dr. Pimple Popper removed the source of major anguish for her patient Jen, who suffered from heavy keloids that dangled from her ears and wobbled around. In the Dr. Pimple Popper episode, Jen says, I feel like I'm a deformity. I'm unnatural. It's heartbreaking, but even these huge keloids are no match for Dr. Pimple Popper. The growths are keloids, or a type of race car for the American Academy of Dermatology. But the after photos are jaw dropping. Dr. Pimple Popper completely completely removed all the keloids, leaving Jen's ears totally free. The doctor also administered superficial radiation to ensure the keloids don't pop up ever again. That was one action-packed season. Dr. Pimple Popper deserves a bit of break after all that hard work, but here's hoping the Instagram and YouTube videos keep bringing all the pops. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.